Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Uh, just finished unlocking the Dan Juma card. This is the first time I played this much FIFA in a minute. I played like, what was it, the 10 draft games? Yeah, 10 draft games in a row. I ended up winning every single one, which is great. Actually kind of makes it faster. I only got like two rage quits from that, and then you could still see me using some of the bronze players to unlock uh, these two on the bench to fully unlock Dan Juma. We'll just do this one for now because we've pretty much been at it all day. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give him the Hawk if we have it. Let's see. Yeah, Hawk chemistry style. Okay. Coolio, coolio. So with Dan Juma, guys, we're taking a look at someone who's 5'10", high medium work rates, right-footed, four-star skills, four-star weak foot. Uh, In-game player attributes. Uh, this card has 90 for dribbling stats. By default, it makes me want to give him an engine chemistry cell. I'm not going to lie to you, but um, I think for now we're going to try him out on the Hawk because he's 5'10 with an average body type for a card that I do mainly see being played in the side positions. Um, if you do end up using him in the side positions, it wouldn't also be a bad idea to give him a, a Hunter chemistry cell because pace is pretty important in this game. So you boosting the pace to be in a good area with good shooting would also be very ideal to work with. But... We'll see what he's like on the Hawk first, and then basically just go from there, right? So, uh, in-game, this card has Finesse Shot, Swerve Pass, Flare Passes, Long Shot Taker, Flare Speed Dribbler, Ship Shot, Technical Dribbler. He's got a few uh, interesting traits. He's got some good, tra uh, good traits on the card. Some good, good stuff. Okay, anyways, uh, the way that we're going to be using this card in-game will be with the 4 2 3 one I already feel myself getting tired. My eyes are starting to, you know. Um, yeah, we'll use we'll use them on stay central, get him behind, stay forward, and basically just take it from there. So yeah, let's see what the card's like, man. Hopefully he's decent. Luis Diaz. Can they make one of these passes count? It has to be. That worked out. Very nice. I scored a goal with him in the beginning, and um, was it wasn't recording. I have to go get that afterwards. Good-looking sequence. <laughs> I was going to score the same goal again. And he clears the danger. A real opening now. To be fair, that was actually really helpful for him to get the ball initially. Okay, so the first goal was this one right here. Just get the camera right. Um, yeah, so I basically just get the ball off him here. Small little dribble, sharp touch, go for a finesse. No green time, and he was able to score that opportunity. So, you know, just general movements, kind of like the beginning of the game, right? He starts to move off into the side positions. Just have to do some, some small left stick touches. And it came off pretty nicely. Fabio Vieira. Oh, I tried to hit him with the L1 croquette afterwards. Well, he's a good all round player. When he's closing the ball down, he does it at pace. When he's linking up the plays, good at that. But his real attribute and his threat is when he. Oh, big chance here! Oh, and he doesn't score on his left foot on a tap shot. And to be fair, the defender behaving that way kind of threw him off a little bit, but even still. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. Robinson. He's gonna have a go here. Oh, dude, if I scored that, that would have been so weird. Like, the animations there, I don't even know what was happening. Oh, that small touch messed with me afterwards. I don't know what just happened right there, but it worked. That's like that's like really good uh, L trigger shielding right there. That's how you get that sharp touch off. Oh, if I greened it, that's a goal. And he takes it off. 
Ooh, nice strike. Um, I got him on the splits, just couldn't get that green on it. Oh, what just happened right there? These guys are like doing animations with each other. They chill. Good shot. Good shot. Now, who can he play it to? Oh, would have been good though. Oh, I thought I was going to get some jam right there. Nice. Great goal. His finishing is actually coming off pretty nicely. So far. Nice. Oh, it was a good first time touch. Good finish afterwards on his left foot too. I gave it a try. Um, so because of the average body type, I feel like no matter what, you're going to want to use him in the side positions. Like, that's just going to be uh, a default thing. Or if you're using him in a striker area, one of two strikers preferably. But you can clearly see that he actually plays a striker position decently well. It's just the average body type for responsiveness where I kind of want to have a little bit more responsiveness there. But he's clearly making good runs and stuff, you know? A little driven pass. Uh, they go. Oh, it's not gonna register my ball roll there. We'll take it. We'll take it. Good finish again. Well done. Well done. That was a weird, weird combination of events right there. Now options are plenty. Oh, it's cheeky. Yeah, those chips are going to be very consistent with the traits. Walcott. The high press was very oh, that's unlucky because I got the jam there too. Kylian Mbappe has got to be taken seriously here. I would describe him as majestic when he's playing at his best. He's Half shot. Oh, I thought I thought it wasn't gonna go in. I was a little bit concerned. I'm not gonna lie to you. You're definitely offside, for sure. Oh, the other guy taps it. Oh my goodness. That is insane. Posting in. Nice. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Dan Druma card. So, guys, in regards to what you want the most out of the cards, there's going to be situations where you may want to give him either the Hawk chemistry style because, you know, the shooting balance that he's given um, is definitely very, very nice in game with the shot powers, the finishing, the long shots. You know, when it comes to uh, the finesse shot, that comes off really nicely as well. You know, I didn't even have to green some of these shots and he still hit them quite consistently, whether it was on his strong foot or his weak foot. So the Hawk is going to create a nice balance when it comes to shooting somewhat high percentage strikes but even the lower percentage strikes he still did a pretty decent job 
you just notice the acceleration sometimes being on the lower side in certain situations, right? But if his sprint speed is at a 98, you can work with that a little bit um, if you choose to use a car like this in the side position, which is the main area that I see him being used in uh, because of the average body type. So yes, his dribbling stats is all in the 90s area, but you still feel the average body type of the card. However, if you utilize yet L1, R1 dribbling, it's not necessarily a big deal in the card, right? Because you can obviously uh, use those two mechanics whenever you do need to dribble. Uh, could you technically make him an explosive player with an engine or something? Sure, but then the shooting stats is going to be in a very, very weird situation, uh, which you may not want, right? Because since he's a player that feels the way that he does feel on the average, giving him an engine will make him feel slightly better, but not enough for you to not give him the other chemistry styles, right? It's just going to be how it is. Um, with a card like this in game in my opinion so yeah the main thing that you're probably gonna have to work with honestly is a little bit of the acceleration dribbling with the average body type um and that's pretty much it right those are like the main things but the traits that he was given have definitely been a very very helpful thing right with a technical dribbler speed dribbler chip shot trait for the animation choices when they actually do the chip shot very noticeable in game you can see it uh, finesse shots come off really nicely on the card so if you decide to use him in the left-sided area for those finesse shots he's very solid at hitting those too so you know what for a gameplay objective card that is not hard to get whatsoever because it's literally based off of games played um it's not a bad gameplay objective to get right especially since we did have this card during that certain time period in the beginning of the year where like he was a really cheap option to work with for a card that was decent to use in game because I think during this time period, I forget if I gave him an engine or a hunter. I forget which one, because a card like this, you still mainly use in the side position, because look at the trait difference, right? So there's only three traits on this card, whereas this one have been has been given uh, a lot of traits to work with, right? So that's the cool thing about this new promo is all of the traits that they're giving these cards. A lot of them may not be like crazy crazy for the meta of the gameplay but they're still decent enough to be used in it and i really really like that because the added traits and the stats and the way that they're formatted is definitely very nice so definitely one of those types of cards it's a similar situation to you know using like a luis diaz basically right it's it, it's kind of very similar uh in regards to that luis diaz will offer a little bit of physical because of the jumping and stuff because i'll show you guys something right so uh, with Dan Juma's card, he's five foot ten average body type, whereas Luis Diaz, Luis Diaz, do 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 do, is five eleven with a lean body type. That little bit of extra height that the card has with an eighty for jumping is definitely very helpful compared to like the seventy three jumping. Um, and you notice that the most when people are using pressure tactics, right? So that when you're able to win the ball in the air to lay it off to someone else, it's always helpful to have that. But even still, he still did an okay job. Not necessarily bad whatsoever as a gameplay objective. Very cool for people that are trying to build uh, Dutch teams or some Premier League team where they want to work with some Tottenham players, right? So um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Long day today to, uh, to grind this card. I was going to do the Magidi review too but it would have been more for like a super sub but if you guys want to see that then we could we could do it we'll see we'll see what the vibes are please tell me dudes love you guys